Saudi Arabia's long-serving oil minister Ali Al Naimi has been replaced. He had the post since 1995 and was known as one of the most powerful individuals in the global oil industry. His departure comes almost two weeks after the kingdom unveiled a long-term economic plan aimed at reducing the dependence on oil revenues. He's been replaced by Khalid Al-Fali, who's the former health minister and chairman of the board of the state oil com company Aramco. Now let's get more on this from Iyad al-Baghdadi. He's a Gulf Affairs analyst based in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you so much for your time, Iyad. Now, Al-Nami was the most watched figure in the oil world and was often described as a maestro of, of the market. Why did the leadership of Saudi Arabia decide to change the minister after almost two decades in the seat? Well, it's only surprising if we, uh, if we consider that the uh, Saudi 2030 vision was not uh, serious. I think this only indicates how serious the current Saudi regime or the current uh, uh, policymakers over there uh, are about the, 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 what, what they call the, the national transition. Uh, so this, is, this uh, of course, is not just the changing, changing the oil minister, even though that's the most visible, but it's, uh, the cabinet shuffle itself reflects very, very much the uh, decisions that were taken uh, to pursue uh, post-oil uh, and, uh, uh, you know, post-oil Saudi Arabia. So was it a step that was more or less inevitable as Deputy Crown Prince, a close ally of the King's, asserts his control over state institutions in the kingdom, do you think? Well, he certainly played it right. And I think uh, he has, uh, in, in, with his recent moves, I think he did win a lot of support, both internally and externally. He has been, uh, I mean, his re recent moves, I have to admit, even though I was skeptical at first, uh, were in fact quite impressive. The question, of course, is, uh, will they succeed uh, in such it's it's not an easy task to wean Saudi Arabia of oil within a few years it is not an easy task uh, but it's very clear that the leadership over there is very serious about it yeah I mean just finally will this change do you think rock the oil industry especially given the fact that Iran is in the mix with a new deal with Western powers well, my expectation is that uh, a part of the dynamic that will, that will play out over the next few years would be um, uh, that Saudi Arabia probably will, will retain its policy of uh, increasing its capacity, trying to capture more, more market share. Uh, this, this makes sense, in, in, you know, it makes sense, first of all, because it's, it has become, uh, you know, uh, a market share kind of uh, game, and also because uh, given that uh, Iran, which is actually Iran, uh, we have to remember that Iran is an oil superpower. Uh, and for Iran to enter the market, it definitely is a big, uh, it's a big deal. Uh, for that reason, Saudi Arabia is probably going to retain its current policy and is going to, to try to capture as much market share as possible, both, uh, be, you know, uh, both because it economically makes sense, but also because politically also it makes sense. Uh, to, you know, kind of, you can actually read it. I, I mean, you can probably say that it's kind of an oil war. Okay, very interesting an insights from you there. Sorry to interrupt. Iyad al-Baghdadi from Kuala Lumpur Forest. Thank you.